good morning welcome back to another video it is an absolutely beautiful day today it is saturday morning and i am going out to be social so i wanted to talk to you about how if you are like me and you are a stay-at-home mother or stay-at-home wife, how it can be difficult to go out. So it's not necessarily just the logistics. My husband's previous job did make it quite difficult because previously for 17 years my husband was a shift worker. So I think when you're a shift worker, it's the combination of sleeping, trying to sleep, and being at work. And in and amongst that, if you have an extremely large family, the mother, when the children are very small, might be able to think of different activities. Let's go to the playground. Let's have a picnic. Let's go feed the birds. Let's visit a person whatever you get the point but the more children I had the more challenging it became firstly you wouldn't really get invited to people's houses because you have tons of people and it can be overwhelming and I did have one friend in particular who was always so generous and kind and loving and she would invite all of us over with no problems at all and that was really in some ways <clears throat> kind of life-saving to me to actually have another person say no Catherine I want to see you and I know you have tons of kids bring the kids over your kids will play with my kids and then we can talk to each other as individuals fantastic so now my children are older, it can be challenging at any stage. It can be challenging if you have a lot of children or if your children need to nap. Um, my baby Luke, as much as I think he is an absolutely beautiful, perfect angel, he doesn't really like being out of the house during nap time. And call me soft, I don't know, but I don't like him being upset. So the sacrifice of him fussing and crying for five to 10 minutes while I'm like trying to rock him and pat him and tell him it's okay because I'm out of the house versus safely putting him into his bed and him sleeping for a few hours, I normally pick staying home. But today I am going out and I don't have any children with me. I do have to get home at a reasonable hour because I am still nursing Luke, but he's 10 months old now. So it's not as crazy time critical as previously was. And you know, on the weekends, it's when my husband's home and Ben is my absolute favorite, favorite person. He is my favorite. So there's giving up, going out, and not being at home on the day that he is home. So yes, there's all these different things that might come into play, but I'll tell you where I'm going. I'm going to a workshop where I'm gonna learn how to mend clothing, and I have mended it I have meant many things in my life, but probably some far more crudely than others. And I want to learn the actual proper process of darning socks. So that's my big goal. And I'm looking forward to going. I can tell you, if you are out of practice with going out and seeing other people, it can be really overwhelming and daunting. And I'm like extroverted, right? And I've fully convinced myself 
earlier this morning to freak out and I even said to my husband maybe I shouldn't go I don't think I should go I know it's only two hours but I just feel like maybe I'm gonna say weird stuff and embarrass myself and I I don't want to go because what happens if I meet people and they recognize me and then they think I'm something and then I'm, I'm I disappoint them and they don't like me and he reminded me in a loving way of someone we know who is extremely reclusive extremely and he said do you want to be like that person if you want to be like that person stay home if you want to see people you have to leave the house in order to see people so I had that that piece of information to sort of spur me along I'm gonna go to my workshop and I'll report back with uh, if I survived or if I said absolutely wacky tobacco things that I completely regret I have arrived and if you're wondering if I'm freaking out I am freaking out because I have everything looks like houses so I don't know where I'm going but I do see older ladies <laughs> So I can just casually and coolly and smoothly follow them. And maybe they have no idea where we're going either. I can do it. It's going to be okay. Hurry up and get out of your car so I can follow you. <laughs> uh, another lady got out and I didn't pay attention to her where she went. But she did look confused, so... Yeah, this lady has a coffee. And I hope my windows are so tinted that she can't see. See, okay, she's walking behind the car. See, there she is. Oh. She stopped to lick her coffee. Okay, that's good. Now she's checking her watch. Okay. <laughs> And if you're wondering if I was lying to you at how beautiful this location is, it's really beautiful. Right near the river, sun is shining, it's beautiful. I gotta go be social, I'm gonna be okay. My goodness. I'm in a different location, it's the next day, because even though I felt good enough after the event to film it immediately in the car while everything was still fresh in my mind, for some reason, there's no audio. So there's like a few seconds of audio, and then I think something to so, do with I'm back, it's a few hours later. later. And it's ruined it all, it ruined all my funny little jokes and stories and raw emotion. But I'm here the next day to just finish telling you how I went. So I went to the Mending event. I think there were like 10 of us there. Um, the lady that ran the event was so lovely. She had a whiteboard and she was getting us all engaged with talking about why should you mend, what to mend, when to mend, all the benefits of it. And she gave us a handout and we all attempted to mend. And it was lovely. <laughs> she made a cake and she made herbal teas with herbs that she grew in her own garden and from her own limes in her own garden. And I just sat there thinking, I wanna be this lady's friend. I would say she's at least maybe 25 years older than me, but that's fine. I can still be friends with anybody no matter what age they are. And I took various examples of mending and I'm a perfectionist. So I originally used like the tapestry wool to try to repair this really small hole, but I felt like it made it 
look terrible. Then I came home and I was sort of fiddling around with it last night using like embroidery floss. Again, I didn't like it. However, I think I do now really understand the concept of mending. So I'll show you a sock that belongs to my husband that has a hole in it. And obviously I haven't mended that one yet, but I did mend this sock. And I don't think it's meant to look perfect, but it feels like when you put it on, it does. you don't feel it. So those are like four tiny holes that I mended. And I think there was one fairly big one or two in the toe area as well. I am very proud of myself. <laughs> There's so many different methods of mending, like how obvious you want it to be if you want to turn the sock inside out or do it on the outside. I decided to just do it on the outside of the sock. And you need, for a black sock with black thread, you really do need good lighting. So that, that is my repair. And I'm very proud of myself. I love learning new skills and new things. And I'm hoping to attend more workshops in the future. I did say it pretty much has to be on a weekend because that's the only time my husband is home and I can go to things. And then of course I'm limited to how long I can go away because I have a baby that I'm still nursing. So it's fine. It was wonderful. The whole point of my video anyhow was to encourage people to go out and to not hide in your home. <laughs> Let's not hide in our homes. Sometimes a really good way to actually get out of the house is for an actual reason. So what motivated me was the fact that I wanted to learn how to mend items. I still have lots of victims from the trampoline to repair and I now know all the different ways well not not all the different ways to mend there's many different ways but I know the types of materials to use on the types of materials you have <laughs> so like for this one I'm probably just going to use cotton like like thread for this one for this one, I used embroidery thread. For woolen items, you can use the tapestry wool. I don't know all the professional names for these things, but these types of things are like a lost art. People just toss things away, throw them away. I know there's a very popular suggestion that people have of if you have something with a hole in it, turn it into rags, but honestly, how many rags can you really have in your home before you've just become totally overwhelmed with these rags? Then you've got that type of rubbish that I think ultimately would go into landfill. I don't know. Eventually, we will not own these leggings anymore. But in the meantime, if I can repair them and they, they look better than this, that's a win for me. So... That's it. That's the end in a different location of my video. I feel somewhat, or I felt somewhat crestfallen when my audio didn't work because I've had different issues with that. But onward and upward, you can't worry about these things anymore. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day and I actually, I'm actually really stoked about this whole mending thing because as a creative person, I can't be like cracking out the sewing machine every minute. I could still mend things. I would probably be able to bet the house on the fact that my two older sons probably have many, many holes in their socks. So I can fix everybody's holes in their socks now. This is very exciting for me. And someone, a friend of mine did accuse me of doing old lady things because I make things like bone broth and I sew and I, I don't know, I wear skirts, but I don't think it's bad. 
I think it's good. And I look forward to being able to teach my children how to do these kinds of things. And uh, while also becoming far more seeing people-ish. So stay tuned for the next exciting adventure of when Catherine actually leaves the house and sees people other than her family. And I'm gonna go now. So have a wonderful day, whatever day of the week that this is on the internet by. <sighs> and I encourage you to try to do something that isn't just housework and responsibility. <laughs> Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.